friends all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna incorporate this is kind of gonna be like a vlog slash haul i'm gonna incorporate what happened at the um storage bin at the storage unit and so forth we're gonna kick it off with these beautiful flowers that my husband bought me very springy with a little bit of valentini loving the yellow all right she arrived i don't know how i thought i was gonna stop and there may or may not be another one in transit who's to say what could what happens all right, she's a t cutie patootie. I really fell in love with her because look at that face. Number one, um, and number two, I'm liking the outfit for for Easter and spring, and even Fourth of July. She's got her shoes. She does need a little love, and I'm gonna have to go into my, my Cabbage Patch Kid groups and see how I can get out this stain. Or if you guys know how I can get that stain out, that would work to beautiful face beautiful face she has a little bit slight no actually there, there's no pox a little bit right there a small pox right there and pox means like black marks but um she's vintage she's like 1985 so she's a cutie patootie all right we're gonna jump into dollar tree because i'm gonna because we have to jump into dollar tree all right this this is how the founder of Big Weight Watchers changed the world and me. And basically, it's a diet book. I want to take off like 10 pounds before my birthday. It was $28 in the U.S., 35 in Canada. Anyway, so I'm going to read this. This is from Dollar Tree. Yeah. All right. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to show you a little peeky-weeky of what's in Crystal's bins, okay? Trust me. Oh, I, I lifted it up, and I was like... <gasps> totally forgot i had that and that and that anyways can't wait to get into my bins so needless to say um the the um decorating has come to a standstill because i didn't have my bins but now i do so we will i will be doing a valentine's day home tour decor tour rather and of course you guys will see it and then when i transition into easter i, I do tours for all the the um the seasons all right, so let's just, let's address something, a couple of things really quick. Okay, number one, I don't put out shoddy videos. If you don't hear the audio, it's because I'm getting hit with copyright. And um, we got hit big time with copyright two out of three videos. So that's why the audio cuts out. It's not because, you know, I don't know how to, well, I don't know how to edit, which is obvious because... <laughs> <laughs> things I say, I leave in the videos and so forth, but I don't know how to edit. So unfortunately, um, when I get hit with uh, copyright, I just, to get it up faster, it's easier for me just to mute all sound. It does give me a, an option to mute just the music, but it'll take longer for the videos to load. So I figure, you know, a couple minutes, maybe a minute or a minute and a half without hearing my wonderful, lovely voice. Ha ha ha. It's not too bad. But I make sure if the music's really loud, I really try and show all the prices so that you're not missing out on anything. So, you know, I don't really understand why people get so mad in the comment section when, you know, I will show you the price and you're still seeing the, the item. I'm just not able to narrate it to you. But um, so that's one thing I wanted to address. Um, yeah. And I understand, you know, it's annoying. I get it. Trust me, I'm annoyed, you know, because it takes longer for the videos to load because I got to deal with, you know, having to wait for them to process the music out. And I don't like going, like, Joanne's is just a fiasco. That's a fiasco. And let's talk about Joanne's really quick. Um, I go to Joanne's to give you an idea of what's out there. Now, I went around that whole store, and you could throw a bowling ball and not hit anyone except for maybe an employee. Not one person, and I mean not one person, asked me if they could help me. Welcome to Joanne's. Um, do they have cute stuff? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Was I overly impressed? Absolutely not. Um, I was impressed by Michael's. I do like Michael's. It's just I got to wait. You know, Michael's needs to come down. Um, but at least at Michael's, they're nice. You know, like they ask you how you are, you know, like they're, they acknowledge your existence. So that's a definite plus. So that's another reason why I do not like Joann's. And also, it's not just the one Joann's that I go to by my house. No, I mean, I've been like to multiple Joann's. It's pretty much all the same customer service. Um, how they're in business is beyond 
me. Honestly, between the pricing and them not even bothering to acknowledge the one customer that you have in the store. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Okay. I mean, I can't tell you how Home Goods is so nice to us. And it's like, are you guys everything okay? How are you? Blah, blah. Um, super sweet and pleasant and so forth. So, yeah. So anyways, but I am going to keep hitting Joanne's seasonally. That's all. That's the only time I go to Joanne's is when I think they, um, I, I, don't, I don't even bother to call them anymore because calling them is pretty much... It just it is pretty much a bad experience. You know, you ask them if they have season, like what you're looking for on the floor, and it's just like you can't get a straight answer. So it's better for me just to walk in. All right, now we're gonna get into Dollar Tree, and um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, I needed some Valentini garland, and honestly, I'm gonna try and make a wreath for this specifically. I'm not too big on the red because we just came out of Christmas. I wish like we could have found like a pale pink garland or something like that, but it just was not meant to be. All right. This is a good deal. I highly suggest it. Um, this is the cinnamon candies. These are hard candies, 12 ounces. I think you get like 60. Yeah. 60 pieces. And so I picked up two of these. So that's 120. I'm going to fill up whatever candy jars I have left with these red cinnamon ones. And they're not that bad in calories. I think three pieces are 70. Eh, that's not the best. That's about a little bit over 20 cal, about 22 calories each. But anyway, so I picked up those. And again, it's just a lot of red. When we come out, of Christmas, I'm like so redded out. I think I've told you guys that. Hence why like Valentine's Day is now like all pastels and stuff. But I wish that I would have found a pale pink garland. But you know what? We're getting too close to Valentine's Day and I got to finish decorating the house. So I don't have time to mess around. But um, yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys agreed with me about my gingerbread trees. I think they're fine for, I mean, they're technically Christmas. But I think they will go well with the Valentine's Day gingerbread house. And I don't know if that's going to stay there or not, because like I said, I'll show you a little sneaky peeky of what's in the bin. But let's keep going with Dollar Tree. All right. I grabbed the last bag of the Snyder's uh, mini pretzels and these expire April 15th, 2023. So not bad. I also picked up two of these baskets. Now let's talk about how we can use these baskets. I know what I'm going to use them for, but you know what I'm thinking? This color is so perfect for Easter. So stinking cute for Easter that that could be the base of your basket. When I say that's the base of your basket, you build up from there. I mean, a cardboard box is cute, but this basket can be used. Like once the person's done, you know, going through their goodies and stuff, this basket can be used for in the pantry. It can be used in the bathroom. It can be used to hold um, hair products, um, laundry detergent, laundry beads. Uh, the pink is cute for Valentine's Day and Easter and spring and Mother's Day and all of, you know, all the way till we hit fall. So these colors are really, really nice. And this one, we see this color being used for fall too. We see pumpkins this color. So great colors. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to use this for my makeup. Um, my tray is like super stinking old and it's just, it's wretched and raunchy and it's guts to go. So I thought that these would be perfect colors and seeing as my pink quilt, I thought these would bounce off the pink quilt really nice and give me a fresh spring look. So... Um, I was thinking I'm going to be using these. I'm not thinking these are going to be used for my makeup brushes. And I thought that would look really cute in there. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right. But again, these can be used as baskets for happy birthday. Any type of basket you want to use it for, really. All right. These are Easter trees, but we're going to use them for Valentine's. Yeah. Look at this. That's a Valentine's Day gingerbread house. Look at how perfect that goes. Absolutely perfect. So these will get me through, um, I mean, if I want to, summer, you know, spring trees, not just Easter. All right. I bought a ton of these eggs for my six and a half foot or seven foot tree in my, in the bedroom, because I think these look high end. I think we would see these at Hob, they're very Hobby Lobby-esque. There you go. And I like them. I bought it in green, blue, Easter blue, pink. And yeah, green, pink, blue. Did I get lavender? I don't know. Did I get, no, I don't think there was lavender. Oh yeah, there is. Hold on. 
Ta-da, lavender. All right. Um, I got a bunch of them. I'm not pulling them all out, but there's the gist of them. Then I also bought the sparkly ones because I'm all about the sparkles. Blue. Pink. And jello. So I got a couple more. I got a bunch of them, you know, enough for the tree. All right. Then I bought two of these bad boys because I am all about these. I think these are so stinking cute. And not only do I think they're cute, I'm thinking way past Easter, you know? I mean, I could easily transition those into fall, by the way. All it takes is the fall plaid bow. And throw some pumpkins in there. Why not? Am I going to? Probably not because i got so much fall stuff. Um, but it's cute. And like I said in the video, if, you know, some workplaces are not, I don't want to say religious friendly, but they keep it non-denominational, I guess, would be the word. So if you don't want to, you know, be like, if you can't have like Easter candy or Easter, you know, something on your desk, but you, you know, you have candy on your desk, this was, this is a cute alternative. You know, no one's going to say you can't have carrots on your desk. So just a, another alternative. And then again, what I'm thinking too is all your plant friends, you know, or if you're a plant lady, this is a cute gift to receive like, you know, like some gar new garden seeds in or bird seed or whatever, you know, or put the plant in there. Um, I don't know how that would work when you water it because there's not, you know, a drain, but it's cute. It is cute. And I like it because it does not scream Easter. And I think you can get a lot, it can go more for your money. But at the same time, Easter stuff is cute. So I did pick up an Easter pail. Where is it? Or maybe I didn't pick up an Easter pail. I don't know. Okay, this was a score. And I got, and I picked up the last two. And yeah, I don't care. I cleared the shelf. Um, Hello Kitty. This is too stinking cute. So of course I had to get them. And this makes for a great Valentine's Day present. It makes for a cute um, Easter. And I also showed you guys Baby Yoda. I also showed you Mickey Mooser and Lilo and Stitch in two different, um, themes. So this was a good find. I am so excited. I think they're super stinking cute and I'm glad I was able to find them. All right. I don't know if I got another bucket. I thought I did. It could be in the car. I don't know. Who knows where things go around here? Um, all right. I think that's it for Dollar Trees, but something else may spring up. It just depends. Everything's kind of mishmashed right now. Dollar General is a really good video, you guys. I'm surprised it's not doing just as well as Dollar Tree. Definitely check out Dollar General. I can't, I mean, we found the mother load there. All right. I did get this at Dollar General, a dollar squishy toy, and I'm actually going to be using this on a tiered tray. Um... I, these, I was too cheap to buy the ones for $3, the ceramic ones from Target. So I got these and these will work. And plus I have to go through the bins. I know I have some in the bins. All right. I did not go crazy at Dollar General. Um, I don't know why I just didn't. I did get this for our liquid hand soap. I'm sorry, for, um, the dish soap for the kitchen because I like it. And I don't, I think the other one, I don't know what's wrong with the other one. Maybe there's nothing wrong with the other one. But I just don't want to, I'm so tired of having to find stuff and look for it. So this was just a cheap, it was a lazy alternative. <laughs> I don't want to look for the other one. It was $4. <laughs> um, it's a little high and I know I found a cuter one. I think even at Home Goods, it was actually cheaper than a Dollar General. But this one will do. All right, 99 cent store. I did pick up this Easter um, runner. This is going to go probably in the foyer. Maybe. I don't know. Or on the bar. I don't know. It'll go somewhere. Um, this is going to go on the table for Valentine's Day. I might use the small check for Valentine's Day and then the big one for Easter. It is reversible. Same thing with this. It's just the same. Oh, smaller on the... Oh, that's cool. I like that. So that... I did get that at, um, the 99. And I also bought these cute little pot holders for a dollar 29. I thought they were adorable for, um, Easter. And I bought these for Valentine's day and these were 99 cents for 20. So not bad, not bad at all. Sticking with Easter. I did get this at home goods, cottontail cutie. And okay. Someone told me you guys are not, someone said you guys are not getting notifications or stuff's not coming up. 
I shot a home goods Easter. It's about 15 minutes. Check it out. I mean, it is, it's all Easter. I didn't waste time on Valentine's Day. It's all Easter. So definitely check that out. There's a ton of content on the channel, you guys. Um, this was $9.99, so I grabbed it. It's pink. It'll be fine. It's cute. I like it. So I'll put that away for Easter. And of course, I grabbed this because it's Love My Peeps. It's um, a Ray Dunn throw. I don't care. I, I wanted it, you know, and I know I'm going to see other cute Easter ones, but right now I know it's only January and a lot of people um, don't they don't want to see Easter videos. But the thing is, though, is now is when you get the good stuff. If you start waiting until March, it's going to be gone. March, we're already looking at the 4th of July. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, it's like, don't kill the messenger. Um, it's, you know, I bought this be all before January 20th. And as the stuff rolls in, I'm going to be buying it. Because you all know how I roll. I mean... Everyone, I bought, like I said last week, I bought that Valentine's Day gingerbread house like th three weeks before Christmas. And everyone was like, no, let us get through Christmas. Well, now you can't find a Valentine's Day gingerbread house out there. So same thing with the Easter ones. They're already hitting the stores. So if you want, and, and I do want an Easter one. I mean, if I don't get one, you know, my life's not going to fall apart. You know, it's not... <laughs> It's not a big issue, but I would like one. And other, the Easter macaroon trees are out there too. So, you know, now's the time. Um, unfortunately, long gone are the days when you bought Easter stuff, you know, a couple weeks before Easter. I mean, you can, but you're not going to get, um, you're not going to get all the hot items that you see coming through on Instagram and all that so, sort of stuff. So that's what's going on. But you know me, I love Easter yellow, and I just thought this was too cute. So we also are going to definitely be hitting Tuesday morning again, because I can't wait till we see their full Easter collection. They're a lot of fun. Tuesday morning's a fun little place. All right, I also picked up two of these bags for $1.99. One is carrying my Louis Vuitton in, and I'm going to use that bag to put the Easter stuff in so I can start separating it. Um, Easter from Valentine's and I still need to get rid of a lot of underneath the table. There's still Christmas, but a lot of that is a lot of stuff is for my niece and nephew. I'm also going to do a video. I want to get my niece and my nephew because we're going to go see them next Sunday. Um, as a matter of fact, I ordered a cake and I will show that to you guys and I will vlog too. So you guys will be going with us like always. Wally Mart, 1198. I wanted him. Um, I don't know if I should put him outside or he might hang around for Easter. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this week when I go back to Dollar Tree, I'm going to get one of those, I'm, I'm going to get him a cute Easter plaid ribbon and we're going to put it around his neck. And I think he's going to go, he's going to be worked into the decor. I don't want him outside. I'll, I'll, I'll get something else for outside. But there's my little Easter bunny. All right, Walmart wasn't like super crazy, a big haul. I did not end up getting the Pioneer Woman, and now I'm kicking myself in the butt for not getting the Pioneer Woman stuff. All right, this is a family pack, great value, variety chewy granola bars. This is like was $3 for my husband. And then I bought him Simply Granola Oats, Honey, and Almonds cereal. This is 24.1 ounces, a pound and a half. Uh, expiration date is August 12, 2023. So... Yeah, did not get a whole lot, and I got some sodas from diet sodas for me at Walmart. All right, Hobby Lobby is forty percent off Valentine's Day, and I picked up these two. I am going to be putting these in the kitchen, and I liked them. They were forty percent off of seven ninety nine. I also bought a wreath, a little t a tinsel wreath. It was ten ninety nine, forty percent off. It's hanging on the door. It looks fine. Um, I'm going to go through my bins. I may have a wreath in there. I don't know. You, I don't even know. I don't know. All right. And then I did buy some pillow covers. Let me show them to you from Amazon. All right. I chose these and they're textured and they're kind of like, let me, let me open them. Hold on. These are two for like $10.99 and they're good size. I got them 20 by 20 and I bought this because this will get me through Valentine's Day, summertime and Easter and this will work because my theme for summer is going to be red, white, and blue. And it's also going to be watermelon, blueberries, and strawberries. And 
people in the comment section who have been with me, you guys all thought that was crazy, but I managed to make it work. <laughs> um, I do make it work. So, um, yeah, each part of my small house has a vignette in it. Um, like I do different vignettes and, but the theme, it, I, I make it flow on, you'll see if you, if you have not been with me for all the seasons, you'll see how we do it here. Um, and it sounds crazy, but people in the comment section, people in the comment section who have been with me will tell you that, yeah, it ends up working. Um, all right, let me show you the second pack that I purchased. All right, this is more of a darker yellow than I wanted. I wanted more of like that bright Easter yellow, like those flowers. It's a little bit darker, but I'll I'll work it. And what's cool is more it's more like a sunflower yellow. So, if I wanted to, I could keep these on for fall. Yeah. But like I said, a little bit it, the the camera's picking it up and it has more gold in it. Like this is super pink. This is going to look, this is going to work. This will work. Cause I'm not returning them. So I'm, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. I think that's it for the haul. I'm looking around, but there's have a bunch of empty, um, bags. Yeah. Like I said, I am trying to scale back a little bit cause Easter's coming in full throttle. So I'm starting in with Easter, as you can obviously tell. All right, we're going to take a look and see what's going on in my bins. So let's go do that real quick. All right, so I had forgotten that I had bought a gnome. I got to find his head. Ray Dunn to be mine. That was $24.99. So his head is somewhere around here. Here's his head. All right, there's your head. It's like Christmas here. All right, what else do I have? What on, oh, this is my, oh, this is my Easter, that's my Easter shower curtain. We got mesh from Hobby Lobby. That's some Easter ribbon. I feel, that's Valentine's Day, so I have a little bit of Easter in here. More mesh. All right, yeah, that is not... Wow. All right, hold on, you guys. So it looks like I've got some Easter and some Valentine's Day. I need Valentine's Day, big time. I can find all my mugs. All right, what is this? Is this a runner? Yeah, it is. It's a cute one, too. All right. This can go on the bar. All right. This feels like a tablecloth. But I already bought a tablecloth. All right, here's some canvases. Harry, love. XOXO. Ooh, please don't be a dupe. Please don't be a dupe. Please be something. It's something different. Yes. It's a heart. Perfect. All right. Let's see what else is going on in here. All right. We are like in need of muds. I have not bought. Oh, I think I have another. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. All right, so we have a cute Ray Dunn gnome. Love. Glad I didn't buy that. Look at what I found. Did not even remember I had that. Queen of Hearts. Candy dish. And then I have a pink little truck. Some rolling pins. Perfect. I needed that. All right, let's see. I hear something in here. Oh, that's the guy's head. All right, where are all my mugs? That's what I want. All right, you guys, hold on. I'm going to, yeah, I really pack stuff in. Okay, I'm going to pull this guy out. All right, we have a big heart pillow. That's cute. I'll look cute on the bed. Let's see, heart, 
picks. That'll work. Still looking for the mugs. Right now I bought a bunch of mugs. Oh, we got a, uh oh, we got a ton of more gnomes. All right, let's see. All right, this is a lot of cuteness. Looks like it's a lot for two trays. We got little gnomes. All right, take that out. Hold on. All right, here's another cute pillow. And I found this, which is for 4th of July. And I guess I bought this for spring. All right, let's see what's in here. I have a feeling this is going to be... Easter. Yep. That's okay. It's got to come in. Alright. This is Hobby Lobby. Valentine's Day. And Dollar Tree, right? I think Dollar Tree. Alright. Something. Okay. Something is off. Because I know I have more than this for Valentine's Day, so. Oh, boy. All right, you guys. I'm going to go because that means, that means I think Valentine's Day is the Easter. All right, you guys. As always, have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I will see you all later. Also include footage of what happened at our storage unit. Um, at the end of this thing, if you're new and you just joined us for the first time, it's not always chaotic like this, but a lot of, um, my regulars want to see like what's in the bins. So I thought this, these are two easy bins to go through. Now I know why they're so easy because they don't have all my Valentine's Day stuff in them. So yeah. All right. I'm going to go. I got to get this loaded up and I got to figure out where my, where my Valentine's Day stuff is. All right, you guys, I will see you later. Thank you so much for joining me. There's a ton of content on the channel. Please feel free to enjoy it. Thank you. All right. So we're here at our storage unit and we're trying to get a hold of Valentine stuff, but since it rained, we had a leak. But they were really sweet, and they moved us down another unit. So we're gonna, well, my husband's gonna transfer all of this to the other unit. But let me show you an example of what's going on here. You can see all the water. Like luckily, I stored this stuff in bins, but you can see it's just like all the water is coming down, like every single bin. No, no it just pulled on top. Yeah, it pulled on top, and then, pulled, and then like it just all like water's. So we're going to be, anyways, be careful. Well, I have to be careful because I'm wearing, like, trunk gloves. But anyways, so, yeah, we're here looking for Valentine's Day stuff. Apparently, all of that is Easter, you said? Yes. East, all that, that's all Easter. Well, there's pro I know there's more Easter and spring also in the garage, but that's besides the point right now. We're looking for Valentine's Day stuff. So, all right. So, anyways, all right, we're going to have to put everything in here. Everything here is dry over here. So that is, everything's dry. It looks like there's no leaks. So same, um, same, dimensions. same dimensions. I only have a 10 by 10 and that's all we're going to have is a 10 by 10. All right, you guys, um, we have stuff to do. So I'll turn the camera back on later. All right, here's the new storage unit. This is the way it looks. Not as super neat as the other one, but we got the gist of it. And it's kind of, it did kind of work out because I only have two Valentines. Um, and they were like, literally like in the back stuck between fall and Christmas and something crazy. So it would have been, we would have had to gone through it all anyways. But on the plus plus is I found a whole bunch of cute Valentine's Day stuff I have, you guys. I'm so excited. Ooh. Can't wait.